We can use restriction enzymes to cut DNA into pieces and then use the DNA fingerprints of these pieces to map these and to identify important sections. So for example, imagine that we have plasma DNA and we add a specific restriction enzyme. Let's call it enzyme one. If we observe two fragments when we run the gel, so there are two bands from this original plasmid, then it is obvious that this enzyme recognized two restriction sites on the plasmid DNA and made two cuts. If you have a circular piece of DNA, the only way that you can get two bands is if you make two cuts. We could then compare the bands because of the smaller fragments of DNA will run farther along the gel, farther away from the uh, well where the DNA was uh, inserted, and the larger pieces will not run as far. So if these two bands are close together, then they would be similar in size. If these uh, two bands were farther apart, that would indicate that our two restriction sites uh, are located uh, on the plasmid to create a small DNA fragment and a larger DNA fragment. Here, the smaller one would be depicted in blue and the larger fragment in yellow. So when we consider the bands which we observe on a DNA fingerprint, these correspond to actual pieces of DNA and we can use the pattern of banding to recognize uh, where these restriction sites were created on our plasmid DNA.